Hi boys and girls, happy Wednesday. So today we are going to continue having fun with our app that we're learning for coding called Scratch Junior. So I hope you had a chance to try out Scratch Junior yesterday and we learned how to use the blue blocks to program the cat to make movement on the screen. And today we're gonna learn a few new tips and tricks with using Scratch Junior. So I'm going to now switch over to the iPad so we can get started with today's lesson. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start again by opening up our Scratch Junior app. Press home. And we're gonna start a new project again. Okay, there's my cat. Today, the first thing we're gonna do is learn how to add a background. So I'm gonna go up here to the top, where it kind of looks like a photo there, and I'll see all the different types of backgrounds that are available. And I can pick one. I'm gonna choose this one here with the road. And when I have the one I want, I press the check mark. If I do change my mind, all I have to do is go back there, choose a different one, and press the check mark, and it'll change it. I'm gonna go back to this one with the house. Okay, and there's my cat. So now I have my background set, and I'm ready to start the next part of my project. Okay, yesterday we learned how to use these motion blocks to make our character move on the screen. So let's say I wanted my cat to go into the house. I'm gonna just move him back here a little bit and I'm going to have him move forward, maybe six steps. And then I want him to go up to the front door of the house. So then I'm gonna have him move up, maybe three steps, okay? And if I want this program to run, if I just tap this arrow, it'll run my program for me, okay? And that works no problem. But what if we wanted our cat to do more than one movement at a time? This is where our green flag tool comes in. So I'm gonna teach you how to use the green flag tool and why you might want to have more than one script or one set of commands going at, at the same time. So let's say I wanted my cat to now move from the house to the tree. Well, if you look at your movement commands here, there is not one to make the cat do a diagonal move. But we can make him go diagonally by putting two sets of commands together using the green flag. So here's how I'm going to make that work. I'm going to put my commands there, okay, and under the yellow tools, there's the green flag. Okay, and I'm gonna need two of them because I'm gonna have two different commands run at the same time. My first command is going to have my cat move down, and the second set of commands is gonna have him move over. And when those two things get put together, it's gonna make him move diagonally. So now, first one thing I'm gonna do is have the cat move down. We'll see what happens if we do maybe eight. And then I want him to move toward the tree. So that would be to the left, eight, okay? Now if I want those things to move at the same time or to run at the same time, I'm gonna go up to the green flag at the top above the stage and that will make both of those scripts run at the same time. So let's see what happens. Okay, so see how he moved diagonally across the screen? That's because those two scripts were running together at the same time. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can use the two commands together to have your character do a cartwheel on the screen. So I am going to take those off, okay? And here's my cat. 
So the first thing he would need to do to do a cartwheel is spin around. So I'm going to use the turn command. So the turn command would be this command here. Okay. How many times do you think it would take the cat to turn to go all the way around one time? What do you think? Let's try six. Let's see what happens. Does that make him go around one time? Nope. What happened? He turned upside down. So that means he's halfway there. So how many more times would he have to spin in order to get around the whole way? If this was half, he would need to go six more, right? So I'm gonna reset that. Okay. And let's clear that and have it be 12. Now let's see what happens if I run that. Yep, now he went all the way around one time. Now I have to combine another command with that command, with that turn command, to have him do a cartwheel. So it has to be a forward movement. When you do a cartwheel, you're moving forward and spinning at the same time. So I'm gonna add a forward arrow to this command. And let's see what happens if we have him go forward, let's say six times. All right, now I'm gonna press my green flag up at the top so it runs both scripts at the same time. And there he did his cartwheel. Okay, this time we're gonna practice having our cat do some hopping on the screen. So again, this is gonna be a, two commands that I have to put together. So in order to have him hop across the screen, the first thing I need to do is use this command, which is the hop command. So I put that there, okay? But I want him to go across the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to combine the hopping with the move forward, because I want him to move forward across the screen while he's hopping up and down. And we'll have him go maybe 10 hops, all right? The number under the hop doesn't mean how many hops he's taking. That just means how high he's going to hop. So if I have it at 2 right now, let's see what happens if I press the green flag. Okay, he hops like that. But if I change to 4 and now do it, he just does the same motion, just a little bit higher. Okay, boys and girls, your job for today in Scratch Junior is to practice adding a background. Then I want you to practice having your cat do some diagonal walking on the screen. Have your cat practice doing a cartwheel. And then I want you to practice having your cat do some hopping on stepping stones. If you go to your backgrounds and click on this park scene, there are some stepping stones here and you can practice having the cat hop on some stepping stones. It may be a little bit different to get him to go on those stones. It's not gonna work just to have him go straight across. See if you can figure out how to get the cat to hop on those stones. All right, so that's your job for today, practicing backgrounds using your green flag to run more than one set of commands at a time and doing diagonal walking, cartwheels, and hopping on stepping stones. Okay, have fun. If you need help, come see me at wind time. Bye, boys and girls.